We have made it inside to the most magical place on earth. Beyond this gateway lies a humble village built on hope and courage. The hope to be heard and the courage to listen and welcome new ideas. The hope for freedom for all and the courage to fight for it at any cost. May all who step foot here be awakened by the same hope and courageous spirit. Welcome to Liberty Square. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. That's right, we're here at the Magic Kingdom in Disney World, Florida. And um, today for this video we are doing something very, very special that has been in the works for a really, really, really long time now. Um, actually even before like the conception of this channel. So if you didn't know, I used to work at the Haunted Mansion, the Haunted Mansion right here at the Magic Kingdom. I was a maid for Master Gracie and uh, well, I operated the ride over there. And um, today, we're gonna check out the Haunted Mansion. I'm gonna share as much as I can with you all about this classic and amazing ride that is beloved by millions. We're gonna go through the queue line. I'm gonna talk about some of my uh, daily responsibilities as a cast member, as a maid. We're gonna go through the ride. I'm gonna point out some stuff for y'all. And um, hopefully it's just gonna be kind of a little bit enlightening, give you a little bit more information about the Haunted Mansion. And trust me, there is a lot of it. Um, so without further ado, let's get going over there. Let's go. By the way, I'm here with Tampa J as well. Tampa J's here. I'm actually, spoiler alert, but I'm actually filming two videos you today. Are. And oh boy, it has been a, it has been a day so far. I can't wait to see this one. Yeah, I, I, I hope that it's going to be good. Yeah. I know it's going to be great. And uh, who else can give this unique tour of the Haunted Mansion? Someone that's work there. Um, I've been, I, all right, keep filming. I can't wait to watch this. <laughs> okay. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. As much ahead. Haunts on, baby. Haunts yeah. on. Yeah. So the story of the Haunted Mansion actually begins right here at Liberty Square. The Haunted Mansion is not the only spooky thing here in Liberty Square. Sleepy Hollow refreshments over here, selling all of the, the delicious things, funnel cakes, waffles, etc and uh, it's based off of the short Disney cartoon, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Thickbot Crane and the Headless Horseman. That's one that my brother and I watched uh, ad nauseum, actually. We've seen that quite quite a few times, so. very And also a very, very spooky, very creepy movie. So a couple creepy things going on here in Liberty Square. Our time here at the Haunted Mansion actually starts right here in this rather unassuming corner of the park directly in front of us all of these little tables here you can go get a get a snack over there some turkey legs some popcorn some pretzels and uh, there's this random rope here with a bunch of strollers here well that can only mean one thing we're at the stroller parking now back in my day stroller parking was a part of working at the haunted mansion it was one of our many 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 positions to park strollers a lot of people hated stroller parking this is florida remember it's humid and hot most of the time here so being outside any outside position is never a lot of fun here in in florida but um i kind of grew to like it actually it was almost kind of a zen moment for me. Stroller parking is also right next to the Columbia Harbor House, one of the restaurants, quick serve restaurants that they have here. This is often where I would stand when I was doing the stroller parking and I had all my strollers set up. I would stand underneath this awning here because, well, it's shaded, obviously, so that, that helps, especially when it's raining. But um, the speaker up here is playing sea shanties. It's the Columbia Harbor House, so they gotta play something like that. And as I stand here reliving some of my Haunted Mansion days, let's go ahead and get in line for the Haunted Mansion and continue this tour to more interesting endeavors. That music is good though. I love me a good sea shanty. So the first part of the queue that we come across here at the Haunted Mansion is called the Carriage House. And it's this building directly in front of us here. The line snakes in and out of that little building. You can see directly up here, we're now underneath the Carriage House here. They have a bunch of horse saddles and bridles and all kinds of different horse gear inside of here. Again, it's a carriage house, so that means, you know, 
as I have horse stuff inside of here and the horse the horse is going to come into play a little bit later in the queue those of you who are familiar with the Haunted Mansion you're gonna know potentially what I'm talking about on the ground here in the queue as well you can see hoof prints little horseshoes inside of the ground implying well, a horse has been walking through here, of course. A horse, of course. Look, it's the horseshoes. The horse tracks are walking directly inside of the carriage house here. As we get out of the carriage house, you'll notice this building here directly on the left-hand side. Uh, it kind of looks like a queue line, and you may have even waited in this queue line before. Sometimes they use this for an extended queue here at the Haunted Mansion during their busiest, busiest times. But it used to be the queue line for the Mike Fink keel boats. Mike Fink being a character on the Davy Crockett TV show. And there was an episode, an infamous episode, where they do like a, a keel boat racing sort of thing. I've never seen the episode myself. But uh, they used to have keel boats here. It was a ride that was here. This was the queue line for it. And it has since been a defunct ride. It actually didn't really last all of that long. It was, uh, the keelboat sank actually at one point, which, you know, isn't a great look. Not supposed to, boats aren't supposed to do that. So the ride quickly went away. It's having a lot of issues. So, but in any case, the queue line still stands for that defunct, now defunct ride and uh, sometimes used as an extended queue. Down inside of the queue in there again, you can see the oars, the paddles that they have hanging up there too. Again, Mike Fink keelboats, RIP. You can see through here, through the fast pass lane or the Genie Plus Lightning lane here, that they do have the horse tracks going through here as well. Speaking of Lightning Lane, the Lightning Lane queue walks directly around this, uh, this little feature here, this little garden feature here. The bush in the background here is actually a rose bush. This is what we would call the Rose Garden. This is the Rose Garden here. And um, back in my day, we didn't have Lightning Lane. In fact, Fast Pass was just becoming a thing here at the Haunted Mansion. And uh, so all of this would be used instead kind of like an extended queue sort of thing. And we would often say, open up the queue around the rose bush. Also got a ghostly horse up in here as well. Remember all of those horse prints that we've been seeing? I think it's been, I think the, the horse here has been making those horse prints, if I had to guess. By the way, fun fact, we never had an official name for the horse here. We all had different names for it, for the ghostly horse. I called it Chestnut because I think that's an appropriate name for a horse but everybody else had different names, so there you go. What do you think? What do you think should be the name of it? Just looking at the front of the Haunted Mansion here, zoomed all the way in at the front door. We're not at a good angle now, but on the front door there, there is a funeral wreath, a wreath that is hanging on that front door. It's right behind the little urn right over there. Hopefully we can get a better angle, but keep your eyes out for that as you're waiting in line for it. So you can kind of put together at this point, we have the horse and carriage ride coming in here. It obviously has been hosting a deceased body in there. There's a funeral wreath on the door of the Haunted Mansion. Clearly somebody has just passed passed away. So that actually plays into the story of the Haunted Mansion here. All of these pieces are connecting together. And we got a nice long shot here of the queue for the Haunted Mansion as we walk underneath the tarp here, which by the way, there wasn't always a tarp to go inside of here, and it hasn't always been green either. It's been various colors. In fact, they changed it, I think, to this very green tarp while I was working here at the Haunted Mansion. It used to be like a burgundy color. I still have a piece of it actually somewhere inside of my collection here. Also a long shot of the queue from this direction too because part of the opening responsibilities here at the Haunted Mansion is setting up all of these chains. So in the middle of the night when everyone has gone home, uh, custodians, maintenance people come through here. They power wash the floor. That's why there's still like puddles underneath here it's still kind of early in the day 
Uh, they, and they let go of all of the chains here. They're all on the floor. Everything's all wet. It's Florida. It's humid. There's condensation on everything. So one of the opening responsibilities is actually to set up the queue line, put all of these chains up on the poles here to get it ready for the day. One of my least favorite things as the queue line dips into two different queues here, the left going through the extended queue, the right going directly towards the front of the Haunted Mansion here. Again, back in my day, we didn't always have the fast pass. And um, it used to be, we'd all just walk up here and uh, you can decide. You can go either to the left through the extended queue or to the right directly to the Haunted Mansion. And we even had a position, a cast member position here that would just stand in either corner and say, either left or right hand side, doesn't matter. They both go to the same place. Left hand side is longer, right hand side is shorter. Of course, most people, they go towards the the shorter side, but not always, not always. The extended queue is very fun. Lots of really cool stuff in there, but um, yeah. And then of course the extended queue wasn't always here as well. That was added in. I don't remember the exact year, but when I was a child, that queue was not here. You would just go directly inside here up to the front of the Haunted Mansion. Now this is the lightning lane and we as plebeians, as standard people with no fast pass are going in the long way. We have no choice. Open for visitation, so we're going through the extended queue. Of course, we got some tombstones in here as well. Classic tombstones out here in the queue line of the Haunted Mansion usually have a cute little saying on the front. Their part of opening the Haunted Mansion was going through the extended queue and making sure all of the show elements worked on it, kind of pressing everything, making sure the sounds work, and that it's ready, ready to go for everybody to have fun with. And right over in here next to this guy spitting is the ring, is the bride's ring. We're gonna check that out in just a sec. So the bride's ring is inside of the ground. The Imagineers added it, by the way. Hello, Master Gracie, someone left a rose for him. Thank you so much. Good to see you, Master Gracie. But yeah, the Imagineers left a wedding ring in there, in the ground. And um, it's kind of an ode to the bride that we're gonna see in the attic scene. And there it is, directly in the floor here. The bride's ring. Very, very cool. Evidently not a lot of people know that this thing is here. I thought everybody kind of knew this at this point, but maybe you haven't seen it in a while, or maybe this is your first time seeing it, but here it is, directly in the floor, in the queue line here. There's the organ right over there. The captain's tombstone here, and then right over here in this corner is where you'll see the ring. And yes, I've been up and down those stairs here many, many times. Very a uh, cast member area. Go up the stairs, up and around here, and then you can walk behind the show building of the Haunted Mansion. I'll point out some cast member areas as we go through here. Please keep in mind this is not an invitation for you to go through those areas. Those are for cast members only. So, uh... Don't go back there, please. So fun fact about this attraction, how long you wait for it directly depends on how fast you can walk and how far forward you can move. Everybody that's in this section here right before the doors should technically be able to get inside, but it all depends on how fast everyone moves because it's all on a timed system and I'm gonna explain that in a sec. Okay, we are pausing here now because going forward until we exit the mansion, I will be doing a voiceover. As many of you know, going inside of these attractions, it gets incredibly loud and I didn't really wanna be fighting over the audio inside of the attraction as we go through here and I'm trying to explain things. So um, going forward, it's gonna be a voiceover here. So. As we can see, the doors are closed here and the maid is about to open the doors and we're gonna head inside of the foyer room here. Time has come all the way in. So as we're walking through these doors into the foyer area, you'll see directly in front of us here, I'm pointing now towards the door, that is one of the first exits that we come across um, a lot of 
a lot of kids and a lot of people walk into here. This is kind of our first spooky scene of the whole ride. And um, a lot of people want to bail right here. So we have a door here for those who want to skip the stretch room or just want to exit the ride all together. Directly behind us on this wall here, that little slat in the wall actually opens up and there is a monitor in there. There's a monitor in there that is overlooking the entry hallway and where you uh, exit out of the stretch room and head on to the ride. Um, because if the entryway, if that uh, hallway in there is super backed up because the ride has stopped or slowed down or whatever it may be, uh, you don't want to keep pushing people <laughs> into the stretch rooms and then out of the stretch rooms and into that already crowded uh, hallway there where, where you board your doom buggy. Oh. Now turning over here, you'll see of course the aging portrait of Master Gracie over top of the fireplace here. Okay, now the stretch room has opened and we are heading inside. As a cast member working here, there's so many people that absolutely loved it. There's so many people that absolutely hated it. It's a very stressful part of working at the Haunted Mansion, trying to usher all of us guests inside of that little stretch room, trying to keep them away from the walls into the dead center of the room, etc, etc, is a very daunting task. We'll pause here, let the, let the maid do her, her spiel. There's no turning back now. At this time, drag your bodies away from the walls to the dead center of the room. As the stretch rooms go, I'll, I'll say that it's, um, this is, this whole thing, this whole process is on a timed system. There is no button that the maid or butler is pressing to make the stretch rooms go. They are all on an automatic timed system, which is why they're always ushering you inside of the stretch room, you know, quickly and, and trying to get everyone away from the, the sides of the walls and all of that stuff because regardless of whatever's happening around us that stretch room is going to go regardless it's it's all on a timed system hopefully hopefully that makes sense there um, even in the mornings when I would open it's still going like whether there's guests in there or not it's it's always going and there of course is the the famous hanged man up at the top our ghost host here um, obviously just introduced himself as we walked inside of the foyer, gave some of the most iconic lines in potentially theme park history here, and, um, it's implying that, of course, the, uh, the person here swinging away up here is in the attic, is our, is our ghost host friend, and we're actually gonna see him again in, uh, in just a moment. Oh, I didn't mean to frighten you prematurely. Okay, so now we are ushering out of the stretch rooms here directly in front of us where all of these maids are standing is uh, our last exit, our last chance to exit before we have to get onto the ride. Um, so again, a lot of kids, a lot of people get pretty spooked out by the stretch room, so this would be where they would exit. Um, they would go to, there's actually two hallways here, one on the left and one on the right. And to exit, you go down the one on the right. And the one on the left is for our guests on wheels. Um, so if you have a wheelchair or an ECV or whatever it is, um, you're going to be going down the hallway to your left. This hallway is where you will greet uh, the maid or butler that will help that guest um, out of the wheelchair and then onto the ride through the back entrance, which we will talk about more in just a moment there. And then directly in front of us is obviously where everybody goes to go ahead and board the ride directly in front of us here. And then this door here is directly on the left hand side. Again, um, maybe a very unassuming door to everybody. This is obviously going to a backstage area. Um, it's just for cast members. Please do not go through this door. Um, but it is another way to get backstage 
to the Haunted Mansion. Um, and it's also where the bathrooms are, the bathrooms for the cast members. I wanted to show as well the walls here. The Haunted Mansion is designed to feel like the mansion itself is watching you. It's, it's supposed to feel like something or someone is continually watching you. And you'll notice that if you pay attention to um, all of the probably most minuscule details of all, such as the wallpaper, the iconic wallpaper of the Haunted Mansion has eyes in the wallpaper. Uh, it's supposed to make you feel like something is watching you. These uh, wall features here are supposed to kind of look like faces to make you feel like it's, it's actually watching you. Um, so those are just some things to look out for as you're going. Of course, we have the iconic bat stanchions here as well. We have people entering their buggies. Of course, this is an omni-mover situation ride here, so it's continually moving. It does not stop for anybody until, oh hey, it stops. You may notice that the ride, it stops a, it stops a lot. Um, and that can be very, very frustrating as a guest because you're just trying to go through the ride and experience the whole thing. And it's very frustrating when it keeps stopping. Um, a lot of people attribute that to technical difficulties. There must be something wrong with the ride. Otherwise, it wouldn't be stopping so much. But uh, very, very rarely, in my experience, is it the ride's fault. It's actually more than likely somebody is having issues getting onto the ride and onto a moving platform. So a lot of the times when the ride is stopping, it's because a guest needs that ride, needs that ride to stop. So just something to keep in mind here. It actually happened to me right as I was about to board the ride, so I thought I would capture it here for you all. The cast members have to give an all clear sign before they begin moving. The maid here is about to give her spiel. And... And we are a go once again. Each of the cast members here have hand packs, by the way. Which is how they can, uh slow down and stop the entire ride just in case anybody has issues getting on or off. Control panel to the ride. I'm just kind of pausing it here for a second so you can see the control panel a little bit. You know, stop the ride if we need to or obviously get it back to moving again. There's a phone in there so we can communicate with other cast members, etc, etc. So now we're entering into the ride into the Haunted Mansion, driving through, <laughs> buggying through the portrait gallery here, the very first thing that we come across. And then the next room here that we're getting to is the library, fully stocked of ghost stories, of course. Again, that feeling that the Haunted Mansion, the mansion itself, is continually watching us as those infamous statues follow us through the room. And then we get into the next room here where a ghostly something is playing the piano. You can see a shadow there playing along on the piano. Also take note of the crow, the raven there, who is kind of our our little pal throughout the mansion. He shows up many, many, many times throughout the mansion. And um, then we get into the next room here, the room with all of the weird stairs and the footprints going up and down the stairs and all of that stuff. When I was a kid, the thing, the scene that was here before this was actually a bunch of spiders. I remember a bunch of, a bunch of animatronic spiders on spider webs. And the next part that we get into here is all of these little eyes in here, which again used to be spiders. They didn't used to be the eyes here blinking at you, but I, I remember spiders being in, in this place. Next one we get into is the infamous endless hallway scene in here. Camera blurs up a little bit, but that's okay. One of the coolest parts of working at the Haunted Mansion is, of course, walking the ride track and seeing all of this stuff up close, touching it with your own hands and 
and all of that good stuff. So I've actually walked down that hallway before, and um, that was a very, very cool experience for me. It's creepy. It is definitely very, very creepy. And then over here, right next to it, it's very, very dark and hard to see, but there is an armchair there in the kind of left-hand-ish side of the screen. And um, if, you've read, if you've ridden the ride, you, you probably know what I'm talking about, but there's an armchair there that also has a face in it. There is a, fa a, a subtle face in that armchair, and it's just, once again, once I, I keep harping on this, but it's once again driving home that uh, notion of the mansion is watching us. Now we're going through the conservatory here, and of course we have our dead body. Once again, coming kind of full circle here as to the, the fact that somebody obviously just passed away. We have that hearse out front, the horse and buggy there. We have the funeral wreath on the door, and now we have our um, deceased person here inside of the conservatory. We've got more funeral wreaths here, and once again we have our pal, the raven, who is following us through uh, the haunted mansion here as we make our journey. Now we're getting into the hallway of doors, which to me is easily the creepiest part. We have, of course, our ghost host, the biggest picture here on the wall. It's kind of hard to see, but he does indeed have a noose. Um, around his neck and, and he's holding a noose there. So yeah, he hung himself in the stretch room and but he obviously uh, got down somehow. So there, there he is, there's our ghost host here. There's the infamous clock here with ringing on the 13th hour as we get into Madame Leota's infamous, famous scene here. She's calling upon the spirits here. Or a swinging wake, all of the cool instruments and furniture and whatnot is uh, hanging above us here. And also, as I was riding through the first time, um, yes, I rode through multiple times, somebody took a flash picture. Was it me? I swear. You really cannot see it when you're on the ride. She is obviously performing a seance here. She is calling in the spirits. Um, her table is covered in tarot cards. Next to her table is a spell book. She's got a spell book there right next to the table. And that spell book does have the exact incantations that she is saying there. It's all written on that book. And ghoulies from last Halloween. Awaken spirits with your tambourine. Okay, so now we are going through the ballroom scene here. This is our first sighting of actual ghosts. The animatronics for the ghosts are directly below us at this point. So we and our doom buggies are up top. We're looking down at the, the ghostly figures below us. and um, But the actual figurines are right underneath us on that lower level. So obviously... Um, this is a Pepper's Ghost effect, uh, one of the many examples of it throughout the rest of the Haunted Mansion here. That was honestly the coolest part for me working at the mansion was seeing all of these animatronics up close because you really don't for a lot of them. And um, to be able to see that detail, the organist um, that we'll see in just a second here, like seeing them up close was uh, it's it's a moment that I'll never forget. It's it, it really is truly amazing. Now we're heading into one of, if not the most detailed rooms inside of all of the Haunted Mansion, and that is the attic scene. The infamous scene where we come across our ghostly bride. And our ghostly bride is, um, well, She's, uh, she's plotting to do some murder, basically. Uh, it starts off with her first husband here. We have the picture on the left-hand side of the screen here. There are two, uh, champagne glasses, two wine glasses, right next to that, uh, book. I believe it's a book. I can't remember, honestly. We'll just say it's a book. And, uh, one of those wine glasses is tipped over, which is kind of implying, like, 
you know, they got married and one of them got knocked off. <laughs> Basically is what it's try is is what it's what it's implying. Um, also, again, it's very difficult to see. You can't, you really can't see it at all. Um, but the bride's face in that photo, she is, um, she looks very solemn. She doesn't look very happy. It's a very solemn picture. Same for the other scenes coming up. So we have her second husband here, or like all around this portrait here, um, are different kinds of wedding gifts and things like that. Again, there's the champagne glasses where one of them is tipped over, but one of them is still standing. Um, and again, her husband's head is going to disappear. And her face in that portrait is going to be mm, ever so slightly happier, actually. And once again, it's, it's the same thing. Like we see she's accumulating much, much, much more wealth around her. Um, more of the wedding gifts and things are a bit more extravagant. There's more of them. She's basically smiling. She's got a nice little smirk on her face in this last portrait here. You got the wedding cake and then of course the ghostly bride. And at this point the screen gets very very dark. We are actually heading out of the attic. Actually we're thrown out of the attic window and we're now heading down into the infamous graveyard scene. That's why you see all those stars up there. And we're, well, we're going backwards down a big, a big old hill. Um, eventually, we come up across the uh, the unfortunate um, person there walking, walking their dog. The infamous guy with the lantern. And then over here, on the left hand side, directly in front of us here, we of course have our jubilant ghosts here playing their instruments the pop-up ghosts coming out of the the uh, tombstone there and I'm um, actually the ride stopped at this point and um, for me this is actually a great spot for it to stop because fun fact this is my favorite part of the haunted mansion the cats the three cats there that I just zoomed in on and the owls up in the tree there are like my most favorite things in the Haunted Mansion. They're singing along with all of the ghosts and it is adorable. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a rare opportunity, at least for me with my camera here, to be able to zoom in on some of these amazing animatronics as they're playing their instruments here. And as you can see, I am obviously quite obsessed. Yes, I'm quite obsessed with the cats. The cats and then the owl up in the up in the corner there, that's my, my most favorite thing. Okay, so the cast member just gave their all clear spiel here, and we're heading back through the through the graveyard. They always have to do a spiel before the ride moves and waving goodbye to the cats. And um, yeah, just going through the graveyard scene here. It's my most favorite ro favorite part of this ride. I love this scene. As a cast member, one of the things that we had to do was ride crews throughout the day to make sure everything is still looking good. And um, if I was having even the most worst day ever at the Haunted Mansion, just doing a ride through and being reminded of how amazing this ride is and how lucky I am to be working this ride, it never failed to put me back in a good mood again, and it always does today too. Like, wow, I can't believe I actually worked this iconic ride. Like, just amazing. And then of course we come up across our hitchhiking ghosts here. The infamous hitchhiking ghosts and the, the scene at the end here where they, where they mess with you, they do whatever they do to you here. Which has changed a number of times throughout the years and whatnot so getting up towards the end of the ride here and we're coming up across little Leota she's saying you know come back if you make sure to bring your death certificate and all that good stuff little Leota is what we always called her as we head towards the official exit of the haunted mansion the unload area here and um, now remember how I was saying at the beginning, if you're on wheels, then this is how you would actually board the ride. So 
that cast member that we're coming up here is actually the one that would help you directly on to the ride if you're coming in on wheels. Notice the bats on the floor, by the way. Uh, this long hallway in here is uh, where you would walk up with your group along that hallway being led by a cast member and then you turn the corner there and then you get on the ride. This door right over here is also of course another door to get backstage to the backstage area and um, this door is actually significant because that is the door that I would walk through every single day to get to the Haunted Mansion. Um, so in and out of that door to get get to work and then to leave work as well. Then as we continue through the exit, we're greeted with this hallway again, which is the same hallway that was um, in the entryway. Where the right hand side takes you to the exit, the left hand side is for the wheelchairs. Well, there you go, here's that same hallway. So directly on the other side there, very short little walk is that entryway to the Haunted Mansion. And then with that, I think we're done with the voiceovers on this, so I will leave you all to the present day in this video, Chris. All right, and there we go. End of the Haunted Mansion. That was awesome, of course. By the way, directly in front of us, the servants' quarters, no entry, does in fact go to the cast member break room right through that door. Actually, you go through that door and then it's directly on the left hand side. Once again, please, please, please do not, uh, do not go in there. It's actually a very, very small break room. It's like, the size of a broom closet pretty much it is not 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 big at all but it is through there it's also the chicken hallway so if the stretch room area which often does scare a lot of kids a lot of people if that deters you then um you can go through go through the hallway there and exit out as well and of course at the end here too we have still yet more uh not tombstones, but it's a, a mausoleum, that's the word. Lots of uh, clever little names here. Another another trademark of the Haunted Mansion. And just a look-see inside of the carriage here, inside of the hearse. Indeed, there is no coffin, but I think that's because it's actually inside. But there is a bunch of decaying dead roses inside of there. Ooh, spooky. And just a look at the Haunted Mansion here. You can see how beautiful it looks, very, very gothic. And um, you may notice that the tippity tops up here look very familiar. They kind of look like chess pieces and that's because, well, they sort of are. They, they've been modeled after, after chess pieces. So there you go, this little building in here, that's the conservatory that we went through. And then the pet cemetery over here as well, right before we exit, a classic as well all the way up at the tippity top. You'll see Mr. Toad right over there. Mr. Toad from Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, of course, a now defunct ride here at Disney. So that's why he's up at the Pet Cemetery. I wonder if they'll add Br'er Bear and Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox. Rest in peace. Is that too soon? I don't know. And it looks like we got on just in time because it looks like it is now down for maintenance. Something must be wrong in there. They gotta shut it down and uh, work on something. So we made it just in time, thank goodness. I also wanna point out the ice cream stand over here right directly next to the Haunted Mansion, pointing it out because directly behind me, uh, the store, the Haunted Mansion store, which I'll show in a sec, it never, it, it wasn't always a store. It wasn't always a brick and mortar store. Back in my day when I was a kid, it used to be a stand much like this, right where this ice cream stand is now. And that was the only Haunted, Man Haunted Mansion merch you could buy. That's how like sort of under the radar this ride used to be. Now, of course, that would be unheard of. It would be ridiculous and it rightfully has its own store. Memento Mori, yes. To me, this is still a relatively new store, but it's been around for, for a number of years now. And uh, much, much like Disneyland, Disneyland doesn't have a specific store for their Haunted Mansion. They just have a little stand, much like what I was saying here, but we have our own shop. Heck yeah, yay, Memento Mori. One more thing here too, I would, uh, it wouldn't be right for me to point, to not point out 
the bat, the, the metal bat here, right above the good old lightning lane entrance here. You'll see, if you pay attention, if you really, really pay attention, you will see so many, like, bats and spooky stuff all throughout the Haunted Mansion on the walls, in the artwork, on the floor, like it is, it is everywhere. A lot of it is rather subtle, kind of like this bat in the metalwork gate in here. Also, a bat weather vane, which I mean, come on, come on. Can you get any better than that? My time at the Haunted Mansion was an incredibly special, special, special one to me. I was the most proud to work on that ride and um, it's just amazing. You know, it's not every day that you get to see behind the scenes and walk around and, and touch and see, like, probably arguably one of the most classic and well-known rides in the entire world of all time. And um, to be able to put on that bat hat and that little apron and uh, call myself a Haunted Mansion maid is one of the most amazing things that I have ever done in my life and um, it's definitely something that I will never ever forget. It's one of those jobs where you really, really, you miss it, you miss it so darn much. Um, but I'm glad for the memories that I had here. I was clearly meant to be at this ride at that specific time in my life. And um, even though it was incredibly difficult for many, many, many different reasons, um, it's, a, I'm, I'm so, I wouldn't trade that time for anything, is what I'm really trying to say. And um, to be able to continue to ride this ride today, um, it's just awesome. I think about those times and, and even when I was working here, like just so how happy and um, honestly privileged that I felt to be able to work at this iconic, historic, amazing ride that millions of people around the world uh, really love. So anyway. That's my little spiel on the Haunted Mansion. This thing better not go anywhere anytime soon. That's all I have to say about that. I think we all have to agree that we're gonna all ride in the streets if, this, if, the, if they take away our Haunted Mansion. Like, can we all agree on that, please? Let's not let that happen, please. Actually, pretty darn cool to see the queue line here completely empty. It's, uh, it's not every day that you see that. Of course, you know, if they have technical difficulties, which is what they're experiencing now, then you do, but generally it's usually filled to the brim with people around here. So it's kind of nice to see it a little bit less hectic, a little bit less chaotic over here. I do really enjoy this ride. I really hope you all enjoyed that. Now that we've finished at the Haunted Mansion, let me uh, rewind it back here a bit for you. I was talking about a bunch of opening positions that I would have to do with the Haunted Mansion. Um, the way that it worked again, basically back in my day when I worked there was uh, seniority was everything. So the people with the most seniority often were the ones actually opening up the ride, like inside of the ride and getting everything ready in there. But um, my seniority was kind of decent, so I wasn't here as early as possible, but definitely before the park opened many times. And uh, But I had the pleasure, usually, <laughs> of wiping down all of these tables and chairs. Oh yeah, that's right. Once again, it's Florida, it's hot, it's humid. Condensation, these chairs would be completely covered in water in the morning. They also clean off this area, the ground and everything you see before you eat with the uh, power washers during the night. So there's a lot of water on these tables and chairs and we wanna make sure that those are all ready for the guests to come in if they wanna come in directly and you know, have a seat. If we don't wipe that, that condensation off, it's not coming off. Like it's not Arizona where it's super dry and it just evaporates, it is, uh, it is staying there. So that was one of our duties and trust me, that is something I do not miss, walking around with a big bag of rags and wiping down all these trash cans as well. By the way, there's parade coming. Parade's coming. All right, that's gonna do it for this video of the Haunted Mansion. Walked back over here to get away from parade noise. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I do a lot of theme park deep dives. Um, I have a whole playlist dev devoted to it, so I've done other videos much like this in other parks, actually mostly Universal. Um, but I plan to do this for a lot of other, uh, both attractions and sections of the park and things like that as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this one for the Haunted Mansion. It's an extra special one because, well, I used to work 
I used to work here, so I um, was able to hopefully provide a little bit more information than maybe what you've heard before. Uh, we will do more videos at the Haunted Mansion as well. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff that I forgot, so hey, we might as well go back and maybe I can fill you in on other stuff. I certainly have lots of cast member stories and um, moments and just things like that that I can share throughout the channel history as well. So again, if you like what you see, if you wanna subscribe, that would be really awesome. And um, also, if you wanna give the video a thumbs up, a like, that helps me out so much as well. So thank you all again so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all very, very soon. I'll meet up with Tampa J now. It's been a day so far. Okay, all right, bye-bye everybody. See you soon. How was Splash Mountain? It was the last time I will ever ride Splash Mountain. It and may be. It was Splash Mountain. Was it Splashtastic? I got a little wet. You got a little wet? Yeah, I did. Okay. A little, little whip splash. Yeah. There you go. Well, if you want to see the POV of it all, yeah, the POV. make I got, sure I had two cameras going. you did. So make sure you check out Tampa J's video. Last time, last Thank ride you. on Splash Mountain, RIP. The new ride. Tiana's Bayou Tiana's Adventure. Bayou yeah. Adventure.